So if you've clicked on this video, you're probably looking to create your very own flipbook using Canva. Don't worry, I've got your back. In this guide, I'll walk you through everything from getting started with Canva to turning your creative ideas into a beautiful, digital flipbook. We're keeping it simple, step by step, and I'll make sure everything feels like we're having a one-on-one -on -one chat. So, let's get into it. If you don't already have a Canva account, you'll need to set one up first. Head over to canva.com or open the Canva app if you're on mobile. Signing up is super easy. You can use your Google, Facebook, or email to create an account. Once you've done that, you'll land on your dashboard. Here's where the fun begins. All right, now let's figure out what type of flipbook we want to create. Canva has plenty of templates, so we'll begin by searching for catalog or brochure in the search bar. This will bring up a variety of templates that we can use, ranging from clean, minimal designs to more complex, visually rich ones. When choosing a template, think about the purpose of your flipbook. For example, if you're creating a travel guide, you might want to look for something that feels inviting and adventurous. On the other hand, if you're making a portfolio or a product catalog, you'll want a design that's more polished and professional. Canva has great options for both types, so take some time to browse through the different styles. If you're working with a horizontal layout, be sure to pick a template specifically designed for that format. This way, you won't have to waste time later adjusting the orientation or resizing the elements. Choosing the right template up front helps ensure everything fits together perfectly, allowing you to focus on the content rather than technical adjustments. Whether you're designing a recipe book, a fashion lookbook, or a company brochure, selecting the right template from the start will set you up for a smooth and efficient design process. Now, let's get into making this flipbook truly yours. Once you've chosen a template, it's time to make adjustments that reflect your vision. Start by thinking about the overall theme, color palette, and vibe you want to convey. You can modify the background, replace images, and experiment with different fonts to better match the look you're going for. It's like designing a room. You can choose a new wall color, rearrange the furniture, or pick out new decorations to suit your style. Whether you're making a travel journal flipbook or a business presentation, these changes help personalize your design. If anything feels off, don't hesitate to make adjustments. You can easily shift the layout, add or remove pages, or even change the structure if needed. For example, you might decide that one page would work better with a large image and small text or that another page needs more white space to look less crowded. This is your flipbook, so make it your own. Play around with different placements for the text and images, try new color schemes, and fine-tune the details. Whether you're creating a family scrapbook, a menu for a restaurant, or a digital portfolio, it's all about designing something that perfectly aligns with your idea. Take your time and adjust until you get it just the way you want. A flipbook isn't just a collection of pictures. It's about conveying a message and sharing a story in a way that resonates with your audience. So now it's time to shift focus to the content. To start, you can easily add text by selecting a text box, typing your message, and then adjusting the size and placement to fit your design. Canva gives you complete flexibility here, allowing you to choose from a variety of fonts, whether you want clean, bold letters, elegant script fonts, or even playful styles for headings. You can also change the color, spacing, and alignment to make your message stand out. If you're working on something like a recipe book or a company newsletter, text is key to providing context and details. If you want to enhance your flipbook with photos or illustrations, you can go to the upload section, drag in your files, and place them on the pages. 
Think about using images that complement the text and help tell your story. For instance, if you're designing a travel guide flipbook, add photos of scenic landmarks or cozy cafes to bring your written content to life. If it's a business flipbook, product images or customer testimonials can add authenticity and interest. The most important thing here is to maintain balance. Avoid overcrowding your pages with too much text or too many images. Each page should act like a chapter in your story, offering a unique glimpse while keeping the overall flow intact. Keep the content focused and relevant to your flipbook's theme. Take your time to ensure that every image, text block, and graphic enhances the larger narrative and engages your audience. Now comes the fun part adding some extra elements to spice up your flipbook. Canva has a ton of graphics, illustrations, icons, and shapes you can use. Whether you're adding a few decorative icons, background elements, or something like a border or pattern, these little details will take your flipbook to the next level. You can find these in the elements section. Here's where you can get creative, mixing different shapes, icons, or even subtle textures to add depth to your pages. Again, feel free to experiment here. Try different elements until something clicks and gives your flipbook that final touch you're looking for. Once you've added all your content and elements, you might want to start thinking about how your pages will flow. Canva allows you to easily duplicate pages if you want a consistent layout across the flipbook. You can also rearrange pages if you want them to be in a different order. This is where you start thinking about the user experience. Do you want your readers to follow a certain sequence or feel like they're flipping through a story or presentation? The way you arrange the pages is super important. If you want to make your flipbook interactive, Canva has some neat features you can add. You can insert links, videos, and even audio, perfect for an interactive digital flipbook experience. To make a link, just highlight the text you want to link, click the link icon, and enter your URL. For videos, you can upload your own or search within Canva for stock video content. If you're doing an audio flipbook, you can add a background music track or even record your own voice explaining each page. Okay. So we've got our design all set, and now you're probably wondering, how do I make this a flipbook? Here's how. After you've completed your flipbook design in Canva, click the share button in the top right corner. Once you do that, choose more, and then look for the simple booklet flip option. This is where Canva connects with the third-party service, Simple Booklet, that allows you to turn your design into a flippable digital book. All you need to do is sign up, you can use your Google account to make it quick, and then upload your Canva design to Simple Booklet. Once you've uploaded your flipbook design to the platform, it's time to start customizing how it will look and feel. This is where you can fine-tune various details, such as choosing the type of page transitions. Whether you prefer a subtle, elegant fade between pages or a more dynamic page flip, you can easily select the transition that best suits your design. You'll also want to check that the page transitions and any added sound effects work smoothly without causing any interruptions to the reader's experience. Take the time to explore these customization options fully. Adjusting small details like the transition effects or background music can elevate your flipbook, making it feel more polished and engaging. Once you're satisfied with your flipbook, the next step is to export and share it with others. In the platform, simply click on the export button to download your flipbook as a PDF or another file format of your choice. If you prefer a more seamless option, you can share the flipbook directly by generating a unique link, which allows anyone with the link to access it. This is perfect for sharing with a specific group, whether it's a team, clients, or potential customers. 
Alternatively, if you're looking to make your flipbook more accessible, consider embedding it on your website or sharing it through social media channels like Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Embedding your flipbook allows you to showcase it directly on your site, creating an interactive experience for your visitors without them having to leave your page. Whether you're promoting a digital magazine, an event guide, or a portfolio, making it easy for others to view and share will expand your reach. Before finalizing everything, take one last look at the flipbook to ensure all your links, images, and content are working as expected. Sharing your flipbook online opens up endless possibilities for promotion and engagement.